Let's take a look at the global headlines we're following this hour with our Eunice Kim standing by at the News Center. Uh, Eunice, Canada's police released surveillance video of that shooter at the country's parliament Wednesday, and it shows how the gunmen got into the property moment by moment. Indeed, Jinju, and the investigation continues as the Canadian government moves to bolster laws to counter terrorism. Our Connie Lee, or rather Connie Kim, reports. The surveillance video of the shooting in Canada Wednesday morning shows how the gunmen got into Parliament. The video shows 32-year-old Michael Zihaf Bibo pulling up in a car, getting out with a firearm, and running toward the Parliament. Police say they recognized that something was wrong and that security officers engaged in an exchange of gunfire. The Royal Canadian Mounted Police said in a press conference Thursday that Zihaf Bibo had acted alone and was not one of the 90 people identified as high-risk travelers. Our partners at the Ottawa Police Service and the RCMP agreed that yesterday Zihaf Bibo acted alone and that he is the same person that perpetrated the attacks at both the National War Memorial and on Parliament Hill. While authorities are still investigating the motive behind the shooting, authorities suspect Zihaf Bibo was self-radicalized. He's reported to harbor extremist beliefs and had previously expressed a desire to go to Syria to join the jihadist fight there. Wednesday's shooting left 24-year-old Corporal Nathan Cirillo dead with three people injured. And with the nation in a state of fear, the Canadian Prime Minister said the country would stand firm. We will we'll be vigilant, but we will not run scared. We will be prudent, but we will not panic. Prime Minister Harper also made public his plans to enact new anti-terror powers and strengthen the country's terror laws. This includes giving more power to the intelligence service to track and detain suspected terrorists. The Canadian Prime Minister has also pledged a suite of plans that will toughen powers of surveillance, detention and arrest. Connie Kim, Arirang News.